Hi, I'm Bibi Borelli, and you're live in limbo. Let me see you rock, little Sally. Let me see you rock, little Sally. Let me see you pop, little Sally. Let me see you pop, little Sally. Let me see you hey guys, it's Heck from Live in Limbo, and I'm here in Toronto with Bibi Borelli. How you doing? I am good. A little awesome. sick. Yeah, sick as fuck. Sick as fuck. What are you what are you taking to alleviate the sickness? I actually don't know. Like Shani has been Shani's my publisher. She's been like saving my life with like these pills cuz I don't usually like to take pills. Mm -hmm. She's just not telling me what they are and I'm just taking them because I don't want to feel bad about taking them. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Right? Especially when it comes to being sick, it's like just whatever works. I know, fuck it. Like, yeah. just fuck it. Especially when you have to do a bunch of interviews. Yeah. Like. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> whatever can get you feeling back to a somewhat decent level. Yeah. Right now, I don't even feel decent, though. Like, I feel like I'm dreaming. Do you know, like, do you know yeah. that feeling when you're like, it's dreaming? like, it's like that in between zone where like, yeah, you're awake, you're yeah. in the motions of doing things, yeah. but then like, it's, it feels surreal at yeah. the same time, when, yep. especially running around and everything. Definitely on autopilot right now. Yeah. Well, like you, you were telling me before we started filming that you're in Toronto to do some recording and I imagine hopping around to a couple different studios while being sick is both exciting, but maybe a little bit challenging at the yeah. same time. <laughs> it is, but I love what I do. It's inspiring. It's cool. Yeah. It sucks. It's great. It's a bunch of different things at once. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> driven by the passion and love for it all. Definitely. Yeah. Which is definitely something I've gotten from what I know about your story. But for people who don't know about your background and where you're coming from, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, man. I fucking am BB. And I s was really bad at school for like my whole life <laughs> like yeah only thing I'm good at is music and I fucking am so accidentally here and grateful for it worked my ass off yeah fucking live for this music shit that's amazing and I feel like I get the sense that you're kind of a global child in a sense because you come you're coming from Berlin You've moved across to the United States, lived in a couple different cities. Your parents are of Moroccan and Haitian heritage, I believe. Um, do you think having those like multiple influences and being exposed to so many different cities and cultures around your life has kind of shaped your approach to your individuality and really championing in that and being like, I'm gonna be me and I'm gonna do me? I think that not, not, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think that, Okay, guys, you want to know why the fuck my phone's ringing the whole time? Because I have a bunch of, like, homies at my crib right now, and everyone's like, yo, can we get the key to your house? And I'm like, the fuck? Like, I'm not even in, like, LA. Yeah. Anyway, no, should I go back to, like, the question? Sure. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Fucking, um, no, I think that, like, a big part of me, like, not giving a fuck and all those different things, mm -hmm. me not giving a fuck, comes from like me not not always necessarily having approval throughout my life. I okay. think that like me living in different places in different areas influenced me like sonically or like, you know, influenced my style mm -hmm. or like <clears throat> made me have like a general understanding for people a little bit better. Yeah. But like I feel like me deciding to like be myself through everything and anything stems from like me fucking not being accepted by people. And how did music play into that to sort of navigate that own process to be able to love yourself? Um, music has just been a part of my life since I was a kid. Music is just my tool. It's mm -hmm. just like my voice. Yeah. Um, I didn't wake up one morning and fall in love with music. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was born into music. Mm -hmm. It's something that I've been around since before I could remember. And I say this all the time, but just like we pick up on when you look at a toddler and a toddler picks up on the word mom or dad. It's the same kind of relationship I have to music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's like the language. It's mm -hmm. like I picked up on it in that sense. Yeah. So... I guess music helps because people listen to me when I sing. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, 
yeah. guess that's I, I guess that that's the way it helps. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. I also think it helps because I feel like I feel like I feel emotions like really, really intensely and really extremely. Mm -hmm. And I think that the only way to sometimes express or pinpoint the way that I feel is through like singing it. Yeah. And I know that kind of plays into your approach when you're in the studio because you often say that you kind of go in and you just freestyle and say what you want to say and let it come out the way it should, um, which contributes to how you produce songs really quickly because it's a very organic process in that sense. Do you ever find yourself adapting other people's stories or, you know, when you hear from your friends or family or coworkers or anyone that like they tell you something, does that ever sort of All the time. subconsciously get into your, All the time. your writing? All the time. Yeah. When I write, it's very subconscious. It's not like conscious. Like I don't sit down and, and decide what I'm going to write about. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's all very natural. It's like speaking. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like talking or like um, fucking walking, you know? Or yeah. Like jumping. It's like you don't say, okay, I'm going to jump now. You just kind of jump. Yeah. So it's the same kind of relationship I have to to writing and I'm I'm easily moved by things. I'm a fucking emotional wreck. <laughs> and I'm super easily moved by things. Mm -hmm. And I feel everything. You know? Yeah. And um, even if I'm not conscious that I'm feeling it, I still feel it. Mm -hmm. And when I go on the booth, I guess it just comes out. That's when it all releases. Yeah. Makes its way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what was the process, I guess, with that when it came to your new song, Sally? How did that, you know, when was it a kind of release or did you, was it just a spur of the moment emotion that you were kind of like, okay, I'm going to go in there. And um, it's always a release yeah. and it's always a spur of the moment emotion. Mm -hmm. That's how emotions are, right? Yeah. They come and they go and then they come back and then they go. It's yeah. kind of like a wave. But I wrote Sally before I was um, successful whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or before I was um, known, all that bullshit hype fuck shit. Yeah. <laughs> bullshit hype fuck shit. Like I just fucking made up mad cuss words. Anyway, I wrote Sally when like no one knew me and like I was just still kind of unaccepted mm -hmm. and people still kind of saw me or viewed me as a, an issue or a menace. And I was, you know, I think every every individual in the world, every human being in the world has the desire to be liked. Yeah. And to be loved and to be accepted. Mm -hmm. I think the difference between certain people is that some people will conform to be accepted. Yeah. And some people will act out of character to be liked. Mm -hmm. And others can't. Yeah. You know, yeah. they just get mad that they're not liked, mm -hmm. you know, or they or it or it triggers some sort of other thought or emotion. And I think that with Sally, I'm one of those people that can't mm -hmm. even if I wanted to. It's not fucking possible. Yeah. You know what I mean, I just don't have that in me. With Sally, I was just like, fuck everyone. Like, why? Like, whatever. Like, you're cool, BB. Like, you can do this shit. Mm hmm. Whatever. Yeah. It's kind of like a song to myself. Yeah. But it's also like, it's also a song to, to all my kindred spirits, to everybody who fucking like knows in their heart or, or just kind of wants to say, fuck it. Like, yeah, I'm awesome. Yeah. I fucking am awesome. As corny as that sounds or whatever, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And you get that. There's like a, there's a real assurance in that song and I think even down you know to the production and everything because it's such an up-tempo beat that you're like you go in and you're listening to it and you're like let's just charge let's yeah. go for this fuck it yeah literally like, yeah <laughs> you know and that and that's and like that that exactly was like my point mm -hmm. that that was I wrote that song after I'd packed my shit yeah and left for Los Angeles I'd never been to LA in my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I wrote that song after I'd fucking I'd I, I'd had beef with my parents. I got kicked out of my fucking house. Like, everyone was like, "Well, what are you gonna do? Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do with your life? Mm-hmm. You you don't fucking have the grades yeah. to do anything. What are you gonna do?" And I was like, "I'm fucking going to L.A." You know what I mean? Yeah. I wrote that song when I was five hours away from home by plane, mm-hmm. and I didn't have many people to call, and I'd spent hours and hours on in the studio. I didn't have my parents. I didn't have my fucking friends. I was on my own mm-hmm. with grown people in a completely different world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. It's amazing to me that at that age you were able to take that leap because I know like even for myself um, or people around my age, like in their 20s and stuff like that, being having the confidence to just take that jump is a really hard step for a lot of people. So it's very inspiring me to for me to hear that story Thank from you. you as well. I think that's incredible. Thank you. Um, now, there's a lot of a lot of titles that kind of have roamed around you in the past little while. Right. Writer of Bitch Better Have My Money by Rihanna, co-writer for Selena Gomez's album. Um, you've contributed to Usher's song, Chains. What do you define yourself as first? I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I, I When I go in and write songs for other people, I don't go in and write songs for other people. I mm-hmm. write songs for myself. Yeah. And other people sing them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't want to label myself though necessarily yeah because i'm anything i want to be mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah and in one aspect i'm a writer and another i'm a, you know i'm an entertainer and another I'm an artist. i don't know if i'm a fucking entertainer i don't want to call myself an entertainer i'm not here to entertain any fucking buddy but i'm just me man yeah i'm just a fucking girl from berlin who like was misunderstood some of her life who now got fucking dull and not even fucking and still misunderstood. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just a person. Yeah. Who loves to make music, who loves to connect to people, wants to help the world, wants to be honest. You know, I want to move us forward. It's a fucking species. Yeah. We're fucked. Yeah. Like, we're fucked right now. Mm Mm-hmm. Where do you see yourself going in the next year in terms of using music to express those emotions and express that message? Do you foresee an EP or an album, or are you just going to drop a couple tracks here and there as you've been doing? What can we expect for, for this year? Probably an EP. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then an album, maybe. But I don't know. I'm just writing songs right now, like... I'm in a weird space right now as well Mm because I'm like kind of in between these two weird ass fucking worlds like normality and like in my work in my fucking work time I'm amongst celebrities so it's like a weird thing Mm -hmm. I'm just winging winging it though like everybody else yeah I'm just trying to stay honest and like genuine and I'm just trying to like yeah man like Fucking move us forward and create music that I would hear at nine and be inspired by. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's what matters to me the most. Like, I think that I, I think that, okay, so like I've been all around the world, right? Yeah. And I've seen all different kinds of people. And I've been amongst the richest of the rich and I've been amongst poor people and I've been around black, white, all different kinds of people. And... The personalities are different, right? And culture is different. But at the end of the day, human behavior is the same, mm-hmm. right? Like, we all feel sad. We all feel happy. We all feel jealous. Like, human behavior is the same. Mm-hmm. And I think that I have an intense understanding for human behavior okay. and for emotions. And I just wish I could let everyone know how much the fuck the same we are. Mm-hmm. Because that would just relieve everyone of so much fucking pressure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 
you know what I mean? We're literally all the exact fucking same in yeah. the weirdest way. And a lot of people are searching for that connection. And I'm really excited for you to be a part of that process to create that connection for a lot of people around the world. You. And you're talking about being in the space between sort of fame, sort of not mm -hmm. coming into it. I feel it too. And I feel you're about to tip over and I can't wait for you to be a part Thank of that conversation this year. Thank you. So welcome to Toronto once again. Thank you. Best of luck for what's to come. Um, please come back here so we can chat some more. It's too fucking cold. Yeah. <laughs> come back in the summer. Freezing. We'll have a couple drinks. Yeah. Head to a patio. Yay, yo, yeah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have some tea and a little something. A little, a little love in that tea. <laughs> Thanks so much for chatting with us. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, guys, make sure you check check, check out BB Borelli online. Her song Sally is out right now. She's coming up and she's going to be on your radar. So get into it now. Be one of the cool kids. Thanks so much.